Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking all about how you can be healthy and how you can transition to a more plant-based lifestyle. So a lot of you are trying to go vegan, wanna go vegan, wanna incorporate more plant-based foods into your diet, so I thought I would film an entire video and give you five of my best tips for transitioning to this lifestyle. These are tips that I personally used to kind of get to where I am today, and I'm really excited to share them with you. So let's go ahead, dive right in, and get started. So tip number one is really easy, and it's just adding an extra serving of fruit and veg to your meals every single day. So each meal, just try to add an extra serving of fruit or vegetables. For breakfast, that could be adding in an extra handful of spinach. For lunch, it could be doing a little bit extra on top of your salad. Or for dinner, maybe it's stirring in an extra veggie into your pasta. Really, it's just adding in more veggies and fruit so that it kind of amps up the volume of your meal, helps to keep you more full, but is also nourishing your body at the same time. So the more fruits and vegetables that you're eating, the more likely you're gonna start craving that type of food, and slowly but surely, your taste buds will change, and you'll find that you are just kind of naturally gravitating towards those healthier plant-based foods. Tip number two is to make one meal per day completely plant-based. For me, the easiest thing was to start with breakfast because a lot of times breakfast for me is a smoothie or a chia pudding or avocado toast, something like that. And it's really easy to make that plant-based. You can use plant-based protein powders, you can use plant-based milks, and a lot of the foods that are made for breakfast are traditionally vegan. So if you are an egg fan, I will say that an alternative for eggs for you could be a tofu scramble. Um, fried eggs, there isn't really like an alternative to that. So maybe it's just trying to do avocado toast with some spinach and maybe a drizzle of hummus or tahini or something like that. And really I think that breakfast is a great way to start. For lunch, if you wanna try lunch, you could just swap out your protein on top of your salad, choose beans or tofu or tempeh instead of the meat. And for dinner, just try making a vegetarian meal. You could try a vegetarian chili. I love my sweet potato black bean quinoa chili. You could make a veggie pizza. You could make a veggie pasta. You could just kind of use whatever you have in your fridge and just leave off the protein. So once you kind of have that base where you're eating one meal per day plant-based, then you move to the next meal and you try two, then you move to your third. And really it's about making this transition slowly taking it easy and kind of moving into this lifestyle with ease so that it becomes more of a habit rather than you're feeling restricted or you're feeling like you're on a diet. It just kind of becomes a natural part of the way you eat. Tip number three is to make healthier swaps for some of the non-healthy ingredients that you might typically reach for. So for me, a great example is pasta. Instead of choosing white pasta or whole wheat pasta at the grocery store, choose something that is made from whole grains, something like quinoa pasta, or a lot of times you can find brown rice pasta, you can even find lentil pasta or chickpea pasta, or you can make a spiralized meal. Instead of reaching for pasta in general, you could use zucchini noodles, you could use potato noodles, you could use sweet potato noodles, and really it's just making those little swaps in your daily routine that will add more nutrition and nutrients into your diet. I think another great example is rice. Instead of making white rice, try making brown rice or quinoa. If you're a big snacker, instead of buying crackers or chips, either try making them at home or look for ones that are made from whole food ingredients. One of my favorites is Mary's Gone Crackers. I also love the crackers from Simple Mills, but there are a ton that are on the market that are made from really clean and healthy ingredients. The other option with snacks is to make your own. So you can make energy balls, you can make your own granola bars, and really it's just making sure that you are A, choosing healthy foods whenever you possibly can, and B, you are kind of staying away from the more processed and packaged things and incorporating these more nutrient dense foods into your life. And like I mentioned before, the more you eat those foods, the more your body craves them, you start to feel better, you're really thriving, your energy's high, and you're just more likely to choose them when you're at the store or when you're at the vending machine or whatever it is. So my next tip, which is tip number four, kind of goes off tip number three, but it's to keep a well-stocked pantry. And I have found that when I have a pantry that is stocked with the ingredients that I know I can build a healthy meal out of, I'm much more likely to cook at home, skip the takeout, 
and make something that is really going to nourish my body. So I'm planning on doing a full video about the staple foods that I recommend you keep in your plant-based pantry. But some of the things that I love to keep in my pantry, of course, is quinoa. That's like my number one. But I also really like keeping canned beans. I like keeping other whole grains like brown rice and wild rice. I also like to keep dried fruit on hand and nuts and seeds. Those are great snacks. I almost always have some sort of plant-based protein in my cupboard, a plant-based protein powder, I should say. But that is just something that I can add to my smoothies in the morning to kind of amp up the protein and help me stay a little bit more full. I also always have nut butters on hand in my pantry. Those are a great snack and I love them spread on toast, drizzled on top of smoothie bowls, basically peanut butter and sometimes almond butter, but I'm definitely more of a peanut butter fan. That is just like my go-to. I also really like to keep something kind of sweet and healthy, so I like to keep dark chocolate in my pantry. I also like to keep dried figs. You guys know that one of my favorite snacks is a dried fig with peanut butter and jelly on top. Oh my god, it's so good. Um, but really that's just like a healthy way for me to satisfy my sweet tooth because I definitely have a sweet tooth. So again, it's to really stock your pantry full of healthy ingredients and the staple ingredients so that you know that when you're going to cook a meal, you are stocked, you're ready to go, and you have what you need on hand to cook that healthy and delicious plant-based meal. So again, I know you guys are probably gonna have questions about the pantry stuff, but I'm planning on doing a whole separate video all about how I stock a pantry, so stay tuned for that. And then tip number five, and this is really like a simple one, but it's to drink water. I know you guys have heard this tip over and over and over again in videos like this and also like tip posts, but keeping hydrated and drinking water is so important for being healthy. And I have found that when I'm properly hydrated, I feel better, my skin looks better, my energy's higher, and I'm reaching for those healthy ingredients. So instead of like wanting chips and craving like something salty and high fat and high calorie and really like not good for me, when I'm hydrated, I'm really reaching for things that are going to nourish my body. So I crave things like apples or I crave things like nuts and seeds and dried fruit and really the things that are going to continue to nourish my body, help keep me hydrated, and also kind of like infuse my cells with like good nutrients and you just feel so much better when you're hydrated so I have talked about this a little bit in my videos before but I recommend that you keep a filter water pitcher in your fridge if you can I'll link the one that I have in the description box below I also always 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 that was aggressive but literally always have my water bottle with me at all times I like to make sure that I can stay hydrated when I'm on the go I don't always like to buy water bottles at the store because I'm adding plastic to the environment and that's wasteful to me so I always like to keep my metal water bottle with me. I'll link the one that I have in the description box below. I love it. It is, what do they call it? It's insulated, so it keeps the water cold for like hours and hours, and it's just great. I like to say try to drink half of your body weight in ounces of water every single day. So that's kind of a good gauge where you can tell if you're drinking enough water. So I hope you guys found these tips helpful. If you have questions or comments, make sure to pop them in the comment box below. If you wanna know more about my transition or if you have more questions about this type of lifestyle, again, leave them in the comment box below. I think I could probably do a million videos on this, so if there are specific things that you guys wanna know, let me know. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, would love to have you subscribe. I will leave a button on the next screen that you can click and automatically subscribe. If you are subscribed and you are not currently getting notifications for when I share a new video and you wanna make sure that you never miss a video, go down below this video and next to where it says subscribe, there should be a little bell and you can just click that and it will let you turn on your notifications. So that means that you will never miss another video. And other than that, I hope you guys have a really great rest of your day. I will be back on Tuesday with another brand new video and I hope you enjoy the weekend. Bye guys.